A while ago, my audio buddy, Mr. Jazz, bought this affordable $500 USD Suncos SGD1 DAC as a transition DAC. Now, the reason I say a transition DAC is because his DAC is usually a few thousand dollars and because he just sold it, he needed something temporary while shopping for a higher end DAC. So he randomly chose this DAC on Amazon and he was so shocked at how good it is that he told me I have to try it. So I plugged it into my system, listened to it for a few minutes, and right away I emailed Hi-Fi Go asking them to send me a review unit. Now, for those of you who don't follow me, I've mentioned in the iFi Neo DAC review that I hate reviewing DACs because many of the DACs from Asia sounds very similar. And that is why I've turned down a lot of DAC reviews. Now, the reason why I asked for a review sample is because I thought I have discovered a hidden gem. Now, at the time, which was like a million years ago when I got it, it was not a popular DAC. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna get like 100,000 views by telling people I have found an audiophile level DAC at 500 bucks. Now, unfortunately for me, it turns out every YouTuber and their uncles have already reviewed it and gave it a very positive review. So my video is kind of pointless. Now, in this case, instead of reviewing it, let me tell you some stories that will give you something to think about. It will be a short video, well, I hope, and I think it will be more entertaining this way. Now, you can indirectly support my channel by buying this unit from Hi-Fi Go. Now, my arrangement with online stores is usually I will keep what I review, but I will send back without a review if I find whatever they send me not worthy of your time. Now, that is my solution on how to balance between me not always working for free, like 70% 70, 70 of my videos, and my ability to remain objective in my reviews. Now, I don't have an affiliated program with them, but it is very obvious, helpful to me if you purchase from them because then they'll keep sending me gear for review. Now, so the Suncos SGD1 DAC. I don't know about you, man, but the name reminds me of Stargate SG1. Whoever named this DAC is either a big fan of Stargate or has zero ideas what Stargate is. Now, just like every other DAC from Asia, it supports every codec under the sun has more output input than you ever use. Heck, even has coaxial out. I'm like, what? So it can be plugged into another DAC? It's like, I can understand if it were a streamer, but a DAC with a coaxial out? Now, if someone can think of a good reason to have a coaxial out on, in a DAC, put in the comments. Now, the unit comes with a remote, really well built. And the most interesting part, it has two linear power supplies. Now one for the digital, digital section and one for the analog section. At 500 bucks of two power supplies, they're almost like giving this DAC away for free. So how does it sound? You know, lots of similarity with many DACs from Asia that measures amazingly as if their life depended on it, right? Clean, detail, not harsh or bright, neutral-ish, clear mid-range, good speed, great instrument separation, Nice sound stage, transparent, and blah, blah, blah. Heck, man, if you look at the big picture, just like how I described 90% of the DACs from Asia. If you want a detailed breakdown, go watch the other gazillion reviews video on it. Let me just focus on the key takeaway instead, okay? So every time I get a DAC in, the only question I ask is what stands out with this DAC and that is different than the other DACs? Two things. The upper mid-range is not buttery smooth. It is a bit edgy, but in a good way. So for some people, they will hear more texture. Sounds like, you know, t -t 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 symbols will stand out more. Second, there's a certain leanness in the presentation, but not in a bad way. So the sound stage is more spacious with good placement of instruments. So for me, these two characteristics are what separates it from the other DACs. DAC, for me, they're like spices. You don't buy a DAC because some YouTubers call it the best of the best, best, best. You buy it because it complements what is missing in your system. So let me tell you a story. At the Montreal Audio Show, okay, I met this company, Altitude Audio, 
And after the show, Leonid reached out to me and while chatting with him, the topic of the Q Acoustic Concept 500 speaker came up. You see, I reviewed that speaker a while ago and I started the video with the story of how disappointed I was with those speakers. It took the right system matching to bring those speakers from meh to wow. One of the problems I found with the wrong matching, the speaker can sound a bit dull because of the, in quotation marks, too smooth, right, the top end. I loved it with the Higo P30 and the Lumen M, but that was a $25,000 setup. Now Leonid told me he has found a really good, nice synergistic combo for the Concept 500 at a very low price. So he sent me three amplifiers, 400-ish, 1,000-ish, and 7,000-ish. And while testing them, I realized one thing. All these three amps, they don't sound fat and warm. And I can understand what he was going for. Now wait for my video uh, on that story. It's really interesting. Now where the Sonkos DAC came in is I was A-B testing it against my own reference DAC, the Exosound E28, which cost six times more, in the test of those three amplifiers and the Concept 500 speakers. Now I realized the Sonkos actually might appeal to some people more than the Exosound E28. And the reason is the two things I mentioned earlier. The upper mids have a bit more edginess, not in a bad way. And I, oh, by the way, I also A-B tested it against my Moon DAC, my Topping DAC, and the same observation. The Suncoast has a bit more texture overall. So when I use it with the Concept 500, there is more bite. Certain instruments that use the upper frequency has more presence. Sure, my reference Exosound E28 sounds buttery smooth, but I don't need that for the Concept 500. The Suncoast, on the other hand, gave the Concept 500 a bit more life. Even in the bass, I can hear more dimensionality. So I would say, in a blind test, some of you would choose the Suncoast over the Exosound, despite it costing six times more. Next, the Concept 500 in my video, I said, the soundstage is amazing, if you get it right. The Suncoast stands out in airiness in the soundstage. So once again, the combo works. Now, I'll record a sound demo between the Suncoast versus my Exos Sound. Now, of course, I doubt you'll capture the soundstage, but listen to it and remind yourself you're A-B testing a $500 DAC versus a $3,000 DAC. Now, among my audio buddies, Mr. Vintage and Mr. Wilson, I call him that because he owns a pair of Wilson, found the Suncoast DAC meh. Mr. Vintage said the soundstage is not anchored solid enough, while Mr. Wilson wished it was more dynamic. My other audio buddies, Mr. Jazz, Mr. Kanta, Mr. Quad, Mr. DIY, Mr. Sonus Faber, found the DAC really good. As Mr. Quad said, when he A-B tested the Suncoast versus the Macintosh D150 with his like Macintosh and Quad speakers, he said the Suncoast does not, did not embarrass itself. Now, Haifa Go did send me the matching headphone amplifier and a set of XLR cables. Now, I'm not going to talk about the headphone amplifier because, you know, I don't even have a set of headphones at my home. I will say the cable is quite nicely built. Now, when I A-B tested it against my own cable, I find they are more on the neutral clear side than on the smooth side like mine. They will accentuate the texture of the Suncoast DAC if that is what you're looking for. If you want transparency, yeah, you can consider it. If you want smoothness, you know what, look elsewhere. Now a question for you, what do you look for when you buy a DAC? Or what caused you to buy your current DAC? Fantastic measurements? A YouTuber saying it's the best of the best, best, best? Or because it wasn't special and you never say no to a good deal, like me? Okay, so let's end the video at this point. Now it is incredible how far we have come with DAC. Just a few years ago, I would classify DAC as high-end and budget. Now high-end for me, it doesn't have that upper mid-range glare. You can easily tell a budget DAC has that glare. Today, even the Suncoast $500 DAC can compete with yesterday's $4,000 DAC. A DAC for me is like spices. This Suncoast is chili powder. You want to add a bit more spice to your system because you find it too polite? Yeah, you can consider this. So I will end the video with another story and a shameless plug. A few days ago, I was over at Mr. Quad's home to test out my new Galleon TS120 amp. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am about to bring this to the market. 
everyone who has heard the TS120 is like, whoa. When I just got there, Mr. Quad and Mr. DIY were doing a blind test, a blind DAC test. Mr. Quad would play 10 songs with three DACs and ask Mr. DIY to grade it after each song. The purpose of the test was to determine if Mr. DIY should upgrade to a more expensive DAC than I lent them. So out of the three DACs they were testing, one of them is Mr. DIY's own reference DAC. The result was interesting. Mr. DIY chose his own DAC as the best DAC. Now keep in mind the test was done blind. So while I was there listening with them, I realized that the second DAC had a buttery smooth mid-range, while the third DAC, which was Mr. DIY's DAC, had a bit more edginess. Just like how the Suncoast and my Exasound DAC compare. Now I remember while doing the blind test, I said, man, both are excellent. And it really comes down to a question of taste. Do you want that buttery smoothness or do you want a bit more texture? Now I chose the buttery smoothness while Mr. DIY chose more texture. The point of the story is that once you know what you want, you would then choose a DAC that has what you like. So if you're looking for a DAC with a bit more mid-range texture, slight leanness in the presentation, I'm not saying it sounds lean, despite it is not a warm sounding DAC, but that leanness translates into an area soundstage with great instrument placement, then put this on your shopping list. There is no best, a question of taste, and if it has good synergy with your system or not. All right, so with that, I will see you next time. You see, a short video this time.